For this card, I used the Stampin' Up! Stamp Set Seasonal Sentiments and the Lawn Fawn Stamp Set Octopi My Heart. So these cards are really fast and simple. I inked up the octopus stamp with Versa Fine Black Onyx ink, and then I poured some clear embossing powder over that. And then I added the little bow tie and hair bow, which is the same stamp. I just stamped it on the neck of one and then on the head of one to make it look like a bow tie and hair bow. And then I'm just adding the little bubbles and again I'm just going to stamp that and pour some clear embossing powder over that. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the second card panel only I put the little girl at the top and the little boy at the bottom. And um, I didn't get a full impression of the little bow tie, so I just um, restamped that. And again with the bubbles, like I said, the exact same thing. I probably could have just shown one um, to show how it was done. But anyway, um, I went ahead and embossed that, and then I decided to go ahead and emboss my sentiment which is you octopi my heart so again those are both stamped with versifying black onyx ink and clear embossing powders put over those and then once that is done i just take a piece of plastic and some salty ocean distress ink and i spray the ink and also off camera i sprayed the card panel so i did spray um the watercolor paper and then i just go ahead and just smush that card panel in that ink and kind of tilt the um card panel up and down and back and forth to, to try to help it spread and i do the exact same thing with the second one um, but I think I got a little too much water on the card panel before I put it in the ink. Um, I don't know. It just seemed like it didn't want to take the ink as well and it wasn't as dark and it wasn't spreading as easily. So um, I do think I got it a little too wet, but it worked out okay. I thought anyway. I thought it looked fine. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and dry those with my embossing pull, embossing tool, but I do that off camera. So there you can kind of see the difference between the two. And I went ahead and squirted some water on the panels and then blotted that with the paper towel just to give a little bit more of a um, bubbly effect. And I have some red cardstock that I've cut to be four by four. So the red cardstock is four inches by four inches. And then the card panel is just um, a fourth of an inch smaller than the red cardstock all the way around. So I'm going to take some foam tape and I use a lot of tape because with the water and heating it with my embossing tool the the papers did warp um, pretty badly so I decided to go ahead and just stick the fan the panel oh, I can't talk um, up with foam foam tape instead of using um, my liquid adhesive And it was much easier doing three large strips of foam tape than doing several little, little bitty strips like I did in the art on the first card. So next I'm just going to take the Stampin' Up! Little Heart Punch and I am going to place that heart in between the octopi. And I'm going to glue that down with my liquid glue. Um, I thought about using foam tape but it already had a lot of dimension since the main panels were propped up or popped up so i decided to just go ahead and use 
um, my liquid glue. And lastly, I am taking the Loving You is Easy to Do sentiment and I am going to be inking that up with the Versafine Black Onyx ink as well. This is my new favorite ink and stamping that sentiment on the inside. So super quick and easy um, and great for Boy Valentine cards. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. Bye.